It's the renegade rose for me. It's the lateral raises for me. It's the planks for me. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Morgan Yates, and as you can tell by the title, I have recently attempted another Chloe Ting challenge. If you have not seen my last one attempting her 14 day shred, I'm gonna have it linked. There were some pretty crazy results in that video, and so I thought, let's do another one. This is the first video you're seeing of mine. I would love if you would subscribe. I also have a vlog channel where I'm gonna have moving vlogs going up very soon because I'm moving. This is one of the last videos in this house. My workout game was lacking for like the better part of a month, which I feel like just made this the perfect time to attempt her 21 day get fit challenge. Specifically because my strength has been lacking ever since you know rumble my boxing studio shut down My strength has gone out the window I have not touched weights hardly at all and what I really liked about this program in particular was that pretty much all of the videos do Incorporate weights in one way or another so I thought that this 21 days would be a great way to kind of build some strength back up If you're unfamiliar with Chloe Ting all of her workouts are here on YouTube And you can just go on her website click on a program and for each day She has all the videos that you're supposed to do for that day before we hop in I want to thank Fabletics so much for sponsoring this video. I'm going to share more about them a little bit later, but first let's go ahead and hop into our before clips. Again, you know, haven't really worked out the weeks leading up to this. We are back trying another Chloe Ting challenge. I feel like I'm going to regret doing this to myself. It looks like there's an optional warm-up routine and an optional like stretch routine. I looked at the stretch one. It was pretty long. I don't know if I have the patience to do that. So I'm just going to do the two required videos. So we have, we have this one. It's 20 minutes. Then we have a six pack ab videos. Totals out to 30. I'm going to get started. I've got my weights out. Let's measure out my waist, even though this one isn't like a shred video, I guess, or like ab focused as much, but we'll just see where we're at. It's like 29 and a half. Let's get started. I'm gonna be honest, I'm listening to WAP. <laughs> Tell me that's not a great like workout song, it really is. I don't even know what size weights I need these days. I don't know how she's holding that weight with her feet doing those ab moves. I cannot do that. Also, I skipped the last move of Renegade Road, so I'm feeling it. And we have the six pack abs video. We did it. Hmm, I don't know my thoughts. My first thoughts were that I like the other challenge better, but maybe it's just because I'm used to that one and like got better those moves. This one, I don't know, it's weird. I'm clearly like sweating a ton, but it like obviously wasn't as much cardio. My leg muscles are so fatigued. My arms, like my abs, it really did work everything again. There weren't as many plank moves, which I loved, but I wonder if that's gonna like work my core all the way around as much. And this is it for day one, 20 days to go. All right, day two, we've got a bedroom workout coming at you today, basically today. Um, the only required videos are doing the booty burn video twice, and I've done this video before, just outside of this program, and I really like it. So hopefully twice in a row we can get through it. There's an optional six pack abs video, the abs we did yesterday. My abs are feeling it, so I think I'm probably gonna opt out of that as well. But we're gonna have 30 minutes of booty, and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm clearly sweating a lot. It feels like my heart rate, like, that's kind of how I felt yesterday. I'm sweating and like my muscles are really tired, but it doesn't feel like my heart rate is getting as high as it normally does. But wow, my legs are already jello. Well, we did it twice. 
my bus is dead. Day two complete. For day three, it was already a rest day. She does have five rest days built into the program, which it was more than I was expecting, but I guess broken out over three weeks, a little less than two a week is kind of how it averages out. So I was always thrilled to have a rest day. They're also, I believe, supposed to be active rest days. Same for the last challenge. If it was a rest day, it was rest day. I didn't do anything on those days. All right, it's day four. Yesterday we had a rest day, and now we're jumping in with 45 minutes of workouts. It's three required videos today. Also, as I'm filming this video, so weeks in the past, whenever you're watching this, my previous 14-day Chloe Ting challenge video is kind of, she's popping off a little bit. She's getting some views, and I'm getting a lot of questions about where my workout gear is from, specifically like those cheetah shorts that I showed in that other video. So I thought I would talk for a second about Fabletics, which is where everything I wear every single day in all of these clips is from. It's the only place I even have workout gear from at this point. And I've been so lucky as to work with them for the past like year plus now. So if you haven't heard me talk about Fabletics, basically every month they have a bunch of new items. They also have a bunch of staple pieces, kind of their, their classics that are always there. But basically there are two options. You can either go on their website, make an account, and just order items at the full price. Or if you want to join their VIP program every single month, unless you decide to skip that month, you will get billed $49.95 that you can use in credit to shop that month's items or the credit can roll over a month if you maybe don't want anything that month. And again, you can skip any months that you're not wanting to order and you can cancel your membership at any time. So this is the way to get the deals is to subscribe to the VIP program. You can get two pairs of bottoms for $24 when you join the VIP program. One of my fave items are these power hold leggings. They're really like high compression, thick legging. That's where the work outfits are all from. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop in to day four. Using those orange weights are only eight pounds or the gray black ones are 10 and now I know like which moves to use heavier on and thank God tomorrow there's another rest day because I feel like I exhausted every single muscle in my body but day four complete this is flying by and somehow this feels way more achievable than even the 14 day challenge ones it doesn't feel as hard I don't know this brings me to B again I've only done a few days of the workouts but I guess my fear is that this is gonna be like a not as effective program. I don't know if I'm gonna be seeing any results here. Like my muscles have been sore. It's not that much like cardio. Today we're doing the arms video twice through and then we're doing the abs video and it's 40 minutes. figured out my least favorite moves of the arms video are the around the worlds where you like hold the weight all the way down in a circle no 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 um renegade rows forget that just any of like the lateral out to the side numbers here are two videos a new one legs and butt and then the booty burn video i feel like i'm sweating the most today that i have on to day 10. Yesterday was a rest day. The rest days are supposed to be active rest days. I was actively drinking bottomless sangria up, <laughs> up until late last night. <laughs> you know, energy's low at the moment. I might do this workout just from my bedroom floor. I just cannot do anything right now. <laughs> It is the next day. The downstairs is turning into a packing war zone if you're not keeping up with my moving vlogs on my vlog channel. But as I'm getting into today's video, basically we have three like legs and butt videos today, 40 minute workout. And the third one, it's a new video I haven't done and it's called like get rid of hip dips or something. <sighs> Chloe <laughs> girlfriend. I'm sure it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a good workout. I just wanted to say a quick note. I cannot with this hip dip like fixation people have. People have just like picked a way that like a lot of people's bodies are regardless of size and have like invented this whole like fix your hip dips thing which like isn't gonna happen for like most people. That's just how how it is. So not the most impressed there but we are gonna hop into these three videos. I'm sure I'm gonna be very sore because it's a lot of focus on the same muscles.
workout done. I am reaching such a slump with this workout challenge. I don't care anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. This is too long. I'm over the videos. I also just don't feel like that much is happening. I don't know. Maybe I'll see it at the end. Entering week three and I'm over this. I think two weeks is the sweet spot of like not getting bored with the exact same thing you're doing. I also got some better resistance bands that just don't dig into your skin like the elastic ones. And I've gone up in weights to 15 pounds now, so that's exciting. I am so over this stupid challenge. I'm done with it. It's not as good as the last one. <laughs> I'm just so over it. I'm tired of doing the same thing. I want to switch it up. And then for these final days, I kind of just breezed through. I was still so over it this past week. As you can see, I'm not even wearing shoes on this one day. If that says anything about how much I cared at this point, I was just so ready to be done. And now for some reflections. It wasn't until I was editing this video looking back that it's like you forget throughout time, I guess, how much progress you actually have made. Not even with like before and after shots or anything like that. But like looking back to those first couple of days and like how sore I was on like day two even. Like I didn't realize how much stronger I had gotten throughout these 21 days to where like I don't really get sore from this anymore like my strength has grown I've gone up in the weights I'm using you can even see just in certain moves like the little lateral raises those killed me like first rep at the beginning of this challenge it was like pain and now I can like crank them out you know I'm like a bird at the beginning of this challenge I was like throwing my back out with those but my biggest takeaway is that oh well, doing the same thing for three weeks I got so so bored. Overall, I do feel stronger. Clearly, I have gotten stronger. You know, the data supports it. And I'm glad I carried this out to the finish line. But now that I've tried these workouts, I've tried so many of her body weight workouts from that other challenge, I feel like I have a really strong foundation and good idea of like what I like, what yields results, like what works different muscles, and what keeps me like having fun. So going forward, I feel like I do want to continue doing these videos, but in kind of like an alternating way, you know, like some weight videos, some non-weight videos, feeling the last challenge as well, all the body weight moves. I feel like I was looking a little leaner then perhaps as well, but that's probably because it was just more cardio. But again, this wasn't a shred challenge. This was a, a strength challenge. So let's finally hop into our after shots. I feel like these results aren't as crazy as the last video. Maybe I just set my expectations too high, but again, you know, this was not as cardio based, this was strength based, and that is what I accomplished here. In my waist, I went down an inch and a half. I feel like if I would have pushed myself the third week, I would have probably had better results. Honestly, for those 21 days, I wasn't even eating the best. I was eating a lot of like frozen stuff because I've been packing for a move. I've just been really busy. So my diet wasn't like all the way there either. But all in all, it feels really good to complete a goal that I set out to do, you know? But the biggest thing that I'm happiest about is that every single one of these days that I did work out, it has boosted my mood. I feel better after. However, I'm so glad to switch it up. I'm so glad this is done. And now I have the knowledge to piece together a workout schedule that I really love. Again, thank you so much to Fabletics. You can buy the outfits that I wore in this video linked below. And that is it. Let me know if there's another fitness challenge you guys would want me to try. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.